Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First up, we have the Chariot in the upright, followed then by the Ten of Pentacles. Next, we have the Nine of Swords reversed, followed then by the Ten of Wands. And lastly, Major Arcana, the Moon. So your overall energy is the chariot in the upright position. I hope you like fast moving energy because it looks like you're weak. Uh, things may be speeding up for you. The chariot cancer energy can represent anything from purchasing a vehicle to maybe going on a road trip, needing to travel quickly. This can represent success and attainment and towards your goals. All you have to do is just boom, show up and basically you're a shoe in. Beautiful energy. Just don't steamroll over anybody's toes. But yeah, if you are planning a trip, it looks like things will be going smoothly for you, Sag. Also, too, it could be that you are looking at purchasing a vehicle. It could be any kind of vehicle from, you know, an electric bike to a car to a truck, an RV or a motorcycle. What is going on? Maybe you're renting an RV and just go traveling. Sounds like a very Sagittarian thing to do. <laughs> next card up well this is starting off your week ten of pentacles in the upright position beautiful maybe that's why some of you are purchasing a vehicle or going on a trip because you came into some money this is really nice energy can represent a bonus maybe a, a tax refund or extra money that you just didn't know you were getting it's nice to have a little extra lump sum you know dropped into your bank account or and put in your hand sometimes this can represent generational wealth uh, inheritance could be um, inheritance of property or inheritance of uh, of cash it can also come up for perhaps a raise a better paying job that you or someone in, in the family has gotten and now it brings up the wealth and stability of the whole family also brings you out of anxiety nine of swords is in reverse upright position this can represent overthinking and uh, sleepless nights because we are concerned about something we're trying to find nine different solutions to a problem or we're thinking about multiple things and it's causing a great deal of insomnia and uh, anxiety but when it's in the reverse position and this is the anxiety has finally been relieved you don't have to stay up thinking about things and for some of you it's because of this ten of pentacles maybe some of you were concerned about finances security stuff like that and now it's finally settled and you are good to go <laughs> good to go on this trip <laughs> Moving on towards the weekend, Ten of Wands in the upright position. Be careful with this energy, Sagittarius. It can indicate overdoing it. This can come up when we are overworking. We're doing too much. We have too much on our plate. Other people are putting too many things on our plate. And it's time to delegate and just say no. <laughs> It can represent having to do double duty when, say, a friend or relative or somebody, a neighbor is going out of town and you have to sort of pick up a slack for, for them because you're doing them a favor. It could be like that for work as well. Maybe workmates are, are uh, going on vacation and you kind of have to cover for them. So that could be going on. Others of you, this could indicate that you are in the middle of, say, uh, packing or renovations or something like that. If that's the case, there's no way around this. Ten of Wands is happening whether we want to or not. This is just being very, um, having to do a lot to... Uh, yeah, it could be some of your packing, maybe to move or something like that. It's just overextending yourself. Just be careful. Remember, though, it is a 10. So this means that this is the end of it. This is the last little um, hurdle to get over for some of you. Last card, you have the Pisces energy, the moon in the upright position. Be careful with this energy. This can indicate anything from a misunderstanding <clears throat> to... It could be... Um, illusions deceptions where we are either deceiving ourselves or somebody is deliberately deceiving us and they're presenting themselves in one way when they're actually not that person this is weekend energy especially if you're traveling with this person be very very careful 
because there could be something going on that they're not telling you. Interesting reading. Looks like a pretty good week for you, Sag. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous week. And I really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you again next week. But before we go, I want to remind you all of the live podcast that takes place on this channel every weekend. Just come to the channel um, for times and dates and guests and so forth. And you can be a part of the live chat or you can... Um, just watch in the audience, watch it live, or come back and watch it in the replay, whatever you decide. Thanks. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.